Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek of it, I am Penj and welcome back to Academia School Simulator and welcome back to the Geek Cupboard Academy. So currently our goal at the end of day two of year two is to try and build ourselves a clinic and it sounds like such a simple goal doesn't it? It's in our to-do list, school health is the grant that we've applied for, we've been given the advance, we have researched health is wealth which has let us zone out the clinic area and then all we've got to do now is build the clinic and hire some nurses and it when you put it like that it, it just sounds so so refreshingly simple however it is not that straightforward and the problem as always is monies we just don't have enough money to get the basic building materials in walls are very expensive walls are very very costly indeed because these brick walls one hundred dollars per square so if we wanted to get a bit across there because we need to cap this corridor bit off so a wall across there and a wall down there that's probably coming up to two thousand dollars of our money already and then we've got to we, we must sort the floor of the clinic we can't have the clinic built on <laughs> mud and grass and have shrubs in the corner we're going to have to put a proper floor down that's going to be another big chunk of money and then we've got to put the stuff in the clinic like beds, you know, because yeah, people might want to go and lie in a bed if they're feeling a bit poorly, if they're in a clinic, and chairs and the medicine cabinets and goodness knows what else goes in there, all that kind of stuff. So that needs to go in as well. So that will cost money. And then we need to hire the two nurses and that's going to cost money. So it, we're kind of working toward it. It's very, very slow. Let's just move time on. Now we are making money. We're making 2,782 of the monies per day. So I'm hoping tomorrow, when the day rolls round, we'll get paid and we'll be able to finish off the walls, hopefully, and put in a door. I'm hoping that we can put a door in, <laughs> you know, go really radical and have a door. So we've been paid. Give me the money. Show me the money. Yay. Right. Lovely. So now we've got 3,664 monies, which we can immediately not have for very much longer because we're going to spend it all on building materials. So yeah, there's a thousand for a wall across the top and there is 600 for a wall down there so already already we've spent 1600 of that now we can claim a bit back from knocking those walls down and we probably will get a little bit back as well from putting the door in because obviously there doesn't need to be a wall there because a door is going in there so that's quite good so the clinic shape is in that we'll be able to actually have it indoors we can tick off one of the zone requirements which is nice i think we need to put some flooring down we need to get some carpet going across there because th that's just not good enough you can't go to the clinic and tread all over the horrible muddy ground so we only need to go to just there technically right now so let's do that so that leaves us with 1344 monies and then we want to get ourselves the flooring of the clinic also sorted. Now, what floor do we want for the clinic? I would love to put a marble floor in the clinic. It just does seem a little bit extravagant, doesn't it? <laughs> it seems a little bit showy-offy. Um, do we want floors? Do we, we don't want a carpet. A carpet in a clinic is probably going to be really, really unpleasant because if you're in a clinic, it's likely that you're either feeling sick or you've got a poorly stomach. And either way, whichever whichever end it comes out of, the unpleasantness, you don't really want it on a carpet. So I would say, I would say we want something like this. Now, not a bathroom tile. Um, we want, that, that's got the carpets in as well. Um, not that, wooden floor, marble floor, paver floor. See, checkerboard floor. Maybe just a checkerboard floor, just have it like that. None of the other stuff seems to be sort of appropriate. So let's have a checkerboard floor. Now, can we afford that? That's 720 monies. Drop a bit of uh, flooring in there. And now we're down to 804. And the nagging message that our money is low because we are uh, dipping below 1,000, I think. So I think let's see if we can get any of the objects in into a clinic can we get anything in at all so the medicine cabinet is 200 monies a bed is 200 and a chair is 50. <laughs> i mean in theory we could get that done we'd have no money for a nurse so we'd have to wait for the next day to get the nurses in but we could get this done technically so let's put some beds in so we'll have a bed like that now what's the best way to do this we want to maximize the amount of beds and stuff we can get in here so do we want a bed and a chair we don't need to have a bed and a chair next to each other. That would be the logical thing. So the, the sick person can be in the bed and then somebody visiting them or taking care of them could sit in the chair. But you don't need that. All the poorly students just go straight into the beds. So how about we have a wall of beds down there? So that is one, two, three, four, five, six beds. And then we could put some more maybe round here. Unless we put them like that. What's that? One, two, three, four, five. 
Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eight. Ooh, we could do that. That would fit more in. But you could put some down there. Ah, but you could put some along that wall as well. And now let's do that. Let's do that. Let's put one bed just there. Yes, my funds are running low. Then we'll just put a chair by the door. Just the one, a one token chair just there. <laughs> oh no, a bed could go there. A bed could go there. Let's put the chair. We might need to sacrifice that space because if we're putting another bed there, and we can't put a chair there because that's at the end of that bed. Uh, and we can't put the medicine cabinet there if there's going to be a bed there because then nobody can get in. We might have to sacrifice a bed space. So we'll have a chair just there and then the medicine cabinet can go just... Where can the medicine cabinet go? There? Maybe that's what we have to do. Maybe we'll put it just there. That'll... If I pause time, hang on. So if we're getting a bed there, we could... Could we put it there? No, because then, yeah, then people won't be able to get in. Because there'll be a bed here, and this cabinet will be blocking off access to the room, I think. But if we put it there, you can't get into the bed that's just there, I don't think, because the, the cabinet's in the way. So yeah, so we are going to have to sort of sacrifice a bit of space. But that's fine. We'll just put the medicine cabinet there. We now really, really are running low on funds. But once that cabinet and the exciting chair is in, it's now a valid clinic. We have ourselves an entirely valid clinic. And there's somebody ill. <laughs> Frank Wyant has gone in waiting for treatment. Treatment that is never going to arrive. Oh, there's loads of ill people. Paris is ill. Frank is ill. Ardella is ill. Ardella Ayala. That is a great name. And now they're hungry. Okay, well, you clearly can't have stomach troubles or anything. But okay. So, oh dear. They're going to be waiting for treatment forever. Oh, there's another person. Tad. Tad Muster has also come in. Tad uh, Paris, whatever you're called, Frank, I'm afraid you're going to be waiting for treatment until at least tomorrow because we have no money. <laughs> we have no money to hire any nurses. So I hope you're enjoying the ambience of the clinic. I mean, there is a bed. There's a bed. Would one of you like to have a little lie down? Maybe it would help you feel less queasy, perhaps. I mean, there, you can always go and have a little, a little sleep if that helps your stomachs or whatever. I'm all for that. That's, that's absolutely fine. But no, and I like that this person here, Frank, is not giving up the chair. Frank is not giving up that chair at all. Frank is ill. Frank is sitting on the chair and that is it. Maybe that's what that's for. The chair is for when they're waiting and it makes them slightly more comfortable, I would guess. But uh, yeah, that, that's that's not really working as well as it could be, is it? <laughs> really. But we do have carpet going up to it, which is lovely. Uh, and also, we can erase those blueprint sections now because we don't need those in. So, yep, down to about there. And these eventually... Oh, they've left a bit of wall. Why have they not finished that bit of wall? Did I cancel that in some kind of foolish way? <laughs> it's very likely. Uh, walls, brick wall. Just there, please. And then while we're here, we might as well do what we're going to do with these. We're going to zone these out as toilets. And we're going to have uh, girl toilets. And we're going to have... Boy toilets. There we go. So obviously they're not going to function. They've got no actual toilets in them, but we've zoned them out. Okay. Day three is going to finish. And then when day four rolls around and we get paid, I hope we can hire some nurses. Now, I don't know how many. Also, I've only just noticed there is no one assigned to the number one cleaner. I know, I know, I know. We're on it. Don't you worry about that. I've just noticed that this here is broken as well. Stove is broken. Click to repair. It's 150. Yeah, go and do that. Go and repair that, please. Okay. Can we hire two nurses? Can we afford to do this? A nurse is 2,250. No! <laughs> we can't afford to hire two of them. We could hire one, and at least that's something. At least that nurse is going to look after some people. They're 250 a day. We've got one nurse, and now we're down to 1,169. Uh, let's go and meet our nurse, shall we? So this is, this is Stevie Twit. Hello, Stevie Twit. How are you? I always think that you should click on them and get a little bit of a little pop up and a little bit of backstory about them. But OK, so Stevie Twit is going to be in there looking after poorly people, which is lovely. Um, can we then, if we can't afford another nurse, we may as well at least try and get ourselves another couple of beds. Let's let's spend big on the clinic. Let's go there. That leaves us with 769 monies already we've burnt through that money <laughs> so then tomorrow I, I look at it you just wish the time away tomorrow when the day rolls round, already in an entire day's time when we get paid again uh, we will be able to get the nurse so we'll get a nurse in at uh, what do the nurse cost so we'll get the nurse in for 2250 
will then get given 2,500 money for the completion bonus, which doesn't actually seem that much, does it? It doesn't seem very much money, but uh, whatever. So we'll get some money back. So the nurse will effectively be free, really. So we'll be able to get ourselves 2,400. And that's come down a bit because we're obviously paying the nurse. We're paying her wages. Is there anyone going to go? Yes, yes. Somebody is seeing the nurse. The nurse is, is smacking them in the head <laughs> with a big bit of, with a big clipboard. Oh, and she's giving them some medicine. There you go. Have that. Do you feel better? Guadalupe Cesale. Recovering from sickness. Okay. Well, that's very encouraging. I like that. You are waiting for treatment. She's writing stuff down. Star Sazafran Sa is recovering from sickness. Oh, this is brilliant. And Nicolas. Oh, they're all waiting. This is great. And three beds. Three beds, three ill people. That was very, very, very good. That was a good investment of those extra beds. So now what happens? So they get better now. And do they go, you know, do they carry on? Or do they stay in there for the rest of the day? Do they just spend all day in bed? What is this slightly curious? Is that their shadow? They've got a shadow on them that's lying in the bed with them. <laughs> it's a bit weird, but okay. Right, what happens then? Do they just sort of stand around? Oh, no. They're going to have to stay on the chair. And, and oh, no. Yeah, we haven't got enough beds. Uh, oh, she's just cleared off. D don't go in the medical cabinet, kids. <laughs> I hope she's locked it. And um, where's she going? Where are you going? You're going to the... the you're going to urinate. There's some, there's some staff toilets right there. Right there. Why are you going all that way to, 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 to go to the loo? Maybe we need to put another staff toilet in. I mean, yeah, let, let's treat the staff to another toilet as well. 400. Good grief. Um, okay, there is another toilet there for the staff. I know my funds are running incredibly low. It's fine. So, uh, yeah, if they could build that, that would be great. Thanks. Uh, stove is repaired. There are still ill students, but we can't really do anything about that. So we're just sending them back in. These guys just get to sit about all day in the bed. I mean, it'd be nice if you could get better and either go home, have your parents pick you up and take you away. Or, you know, maybe you could just get better and, and, and leave the beds because beds are premium. Everyone knows that hospital beds are a premium thing. I thought I would take a little look at our finances because we're shelling out just shy of 13,000 monies every day. So I thought, OK, what's that made up of? Unsurprisingly, most of it is wages. So almost 11,000 goes on wages. But then I've kind of forgot about this a little bit. The utilities. Oh, the utilities in academia are so expensive. So 483 monies every day goes on toilets and sinks. That that is some that is some expensive expensive water usage there. Do the students know to like turn the taps off, or are they doing that annoying studenty thing where they leave the taps on because they think it's funny? I don't know. Electricity one hundred ninety two. That's not so bad. And then food ingredients eight hundred and forty. What are we buying the students? What food are they eating? Are they eating lobster and Kobe beef every lunchtime? Goodness me, <laughs> this seems very, very expensive indeed compared to, you know, say the wages of everybody. That seems very, very steep, but okay, fine. And then 500 on that bank loan, which we do need to get rid of at some point. Actually, what is the status of that? What does it look like? So a man owed 27,500, but the loan balance, I think that is what is left to pay, isn't it? So if we wanted to pay it all, uh, what's that? Oh, ah, right, I was going to say, why can we only pay 476? But yes, it's because we only have 476 monies remaining. <laughs> so let's not do that, because that would seem a bit silly. Do we could, is it worth paying 100 off just for fun? Just to go, there you go, I've paid 100 of our loan off. Let's pay that. Yay! <laughs> We've paid a teeny tiny bit of our loan off. But do you know what? It's better than paying no loan at all. Right, let's just put time back onto super fast, because everything's ticking over quite nicely. We do need... We do need a little bit of a strip of flooring here because when the students go to this little food counter, they're standing here and that is not sufficiently floored. This is this is mud. This is mud and grass and dirt. Also, are you one of the teachers? You're one of the, I've got your own staff cafeteria up there. It's a valid, an entirely valid room. It's got itself all the things it needs. You've got a lovely uh, bench and uh, well, two lovely benches and a table. You've got the little sort of, uh, whatever that is, like the dirty dishes kind of tray thing. And you've got yourself your own food counter. The, the, the cooks are very, very lovingly preparing food and putting it in there for you. They're doing that all for you. And you guys are sitting down here eating eating with the, with, with the students. That's just not good enough, is it? I'm wondering if the teachers are not going in there because that door is sort of not 
accessible enough or something. I don't really know. I don't know why they're not going in. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe just because it's too far to go. Maybe they would prefer to go all that way. However, one thing we can do is with the doors, uh, if we not right click them, hang on, how did we bring that up? There's a thing you can do with the doors, um, but all I can seem to do is sell things at the moment. There is an option where you can go to the doors and you can change them to be staff or whatever. Oh, it's only on single doors. You can only adjust the permission of who can go through doors on an individual door. So that one there, you can change the permission so it could be the staff or students or anybody. However, that doesn't seem to be the case on double doors. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And the same for those double doors. Okay. Right. Well, what we'll do is, what we shall do is, let's take out those doors there. Because that's fine. I mean, do they really need doors just there? I don't suppose they actually need a door just there, do they? So that door can be staff. That's fine. That door can be staff only. That's okay. They go red. They go red for warning. Uh, so let's get rid of that door. Uh, let's go to build and we'll get rid of that sort of double door arrangement just there. That's fine. So we'll destroy the door and then we could put a wall in just there and then we'll do exactly the same with that door and we'll put a wall in just there and then eventually we'll put a single door and we can make that a door into the staff cafeteria as well and the little door, single door, can go into the kitchen and that can also be fine. But no, instead he's taken up... <laughs> Uh, okay, right, he's sort of done that, but now there is mud on the floor again. I don't want there to be mud. <laughs> Stop it with the mud, all right? Um, let's have... Uh, what floor do you want for that? Let's have the uh, the wooden sort of... Oh, no, they're, they're walls. They're walls, different kind of thing. Uh, it's, the, it's that wooden floor, isn't it? So we'll put a bit there and a bit there. And my funds are indeed running low. And then we want to get to one of those doors and we shall put that door just there like that. Okay, right. Can we manage that, please? Can we deal with this? And then we'll put another door just there like that. So that's lovely. So that door is in. So we click that. That is a staff-only door. Click that. That is a staff-only door. Right, so the staff can make it into the staff cafeteria, and that's it. Nobody else can go in there. So yeah, it makes me wonder why they're down here. Why are they down here? What are they doing in here? <laughs> mingling with the stewards. Mingling with the riffraff. Ooh, Oh, the sofa's almost broken. Quickly repair the sofa. What are the teachers doing on the sofa that makes it break so readily? <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? Or dares to speculate? Maybe the teachers should behave themselves. Okay, right. We're going to get paid. We're going to get paid monies. And anytime. Yay! Right, okay. And immediately, <laughs> if we put time down to normal speed, our last job for the clinic, hire another nurse. So let's go to here. Let us get ourselves another nurse for 2,250. So almost all of our money. But then we will get pretty much all of that back because we shall get the completion bonus for this particular grant. So we'll do that. And it actually puts us up to 2,900. Yay. And let's see. Let's come out of that. What does that do then? A path to cleanliness. Research janitor routing. Create two janitor routes and assign one janitor to each route. Do I have two janitors? I do have two janitors. So maybe we could research janitor routing. How expensive is that? It's probably 12 bazillion pounds. Uh, one and a half grand. We could do that now. So let's take that on board. Lovely. So it brings us down to 1,500-ish. But then we can take this. So that gives us two and a half K. So we can go, yes, please. We shall have that. That's some money in the bank. And now that's it. We don't have to spend any more on that. We've got two janitors. We can do the two janitor routes. It might be worth, it might be worth employing one more janitor because the school is now getting quite big and there's going to be a lot of dirt, particularly because they're still walking on all the mud and muck and stuff in the common area. So we need to sort that out. So I think for 1800 monies, let's invest in another janitor. Let's have a third janitor. Um, is that the new one? Stefan Matyash. I think that was the new one. So then when this thing is done, we can then create two janitor routes, assign a janitor to each route, and then we'll get another two and a half grand, which is marvellous. Okay, so the clinic is in action. This is good. So school is just starting. Male toilet, female toilet, they can probably wait. How about we try now and get the common area with some sort of flooring? Now, people have suggested, do you know what? Let's try this actually as well. Let's give this a little go, shall we? A few people have said, what I've done is, I've made all the corridors the common area. So the students just you know, hang around in the corridors. Now, I don't want that in all of the corridors, but I wouldn't mind it in the ones around the cafeteria. 
I'm not that bothered about that, like a long hair, because eventually we're going to have lockers along here as well. Why don't we try that? That might be a fun thing. Um, no, is it special rooms? Yes, it's common area. Okay, now they're going to be corridors as well. So let's just expand that out to like that, and then bring that down like that, and then drag that across to there, and then up to there for the moment. So the common area covers all of that floor. I quite like that. That's that's quite a good idea. So they can go to the common area wherever. And then, yeah, I'm not going to have on every single corridor because I don't want them hanging around outside the classrooms. But this bit here can indeed be the common area. And they can have all sorts of stuff in there, which is lovely. Dumpster research is available. Oh, happy, happy, glorious days. Um, Okay, so now we need to do two janitor routes. So I would say the first one, if we add a route, needs to go basically along here. I think number one just goes along here, down here, and along there. Now, do they, do they, yes, look, there's mess in these rooms as well. Okay, right, hang on, hang on. Let's not do that then. So route number one can maybe cover this bit here. So we'll start here, we'll go to there. We'll nip into, I don't imagine the accountant is gonna make much in the way of mess. I hope that the accountant is wiping their feet and putting all their stuff in the bin. However, the students will probably not do that. So you can go into there, then go back into there, then into here, then to there, then into that classroom, then to there, then into that classroom, then over to here, and then maybe finish in the faculty lounge. Then we'll complete the route in the lounge, and then you go back and start again. Oh, look, they've got a little visibility sort of radius thing now. So if they see any dirt within that particular radius, they will go and sort that out. There you go, look, and they do it. They're interrupting class. <laughs> to be honest. Although there appears to be no teacher. Is there a teacher in that class? Uh, hello? Where's where's the teacher? Could you please... Who, who are the kids waving to? What's going on here? Oh, there you go. Oh, you've bothered to turn up, have you? Right, well done. <laughs> a mere 42 minutes late, Glinda Yost. No wonder we're the one, you're the ones that want to get fired. <laughs> no, you don't want to get fired. We're going to fire you. You probably don't want to get fired. But um, oh, you're stood on the table, right? Good. <laughs> This is, this is, that's very, uh, very unorthodox teaching method. So there you go. Yeah, waving a piece of chalk in the air. That is also good. Right. So that's one cleaner route done. Let's make another cleaner route. So janitor routing. And it's going to do exactly the same thing, but on this side. So also you will have to nip into the loos. I think that's probably a good idea. So go into there, uh, down into there, uh, into the corridor. Why is there a trash bin just in the middle of the corridor there? I didn't put that there, did I? Has that moved somehow, or has that always been there? Let me know in the comments. Has that has that trash bin always been in the middle there, and not like along the edge, like a nicely organised thing? Oh dear, <laughs> that's not very good, is it? Um, and then stop there, and then down into here, and then up to there, and then you can complete your route just here, and this should give us two and a half grand. Oh, marvellous. Okay, right. What has that unlocked? Okay, now we're running out of the unlockable ones. How many are left? Um, oh my goodness, there's quite a few left, but we're not going to get them right now. Some of them we need uh, computational power and other bits and bobs. So we could do this. We could do this. Calisthenics. We could get that done. We can build a field. School expansion 200, I don't think we're going to get anytime soon. Or set them straight. Counselling and an office and a counsellor is probably going to be relatively expensive. I don't like the idea of doing that. Can we research anything else? I'm going to make 1800 every day. Is there anything we really need? Janitor priorities not bothered. All the good things are really expensive. I'd love them to have these. Increase the cleaning speed by 100%. So they're going to go twice as fast. That's brilliant. This thing here, three grand. Increase the clinic recovery time by 100%. So double recovery speed. That is also very, very good. Um, Greg's list, 50% <laughs> cheaper to find more teachers. Although to be fair, that's only 100 each time, isn't it? So that's, you'd have to use that a lot of times in order to actually make the most of that. I mean, teacher training is 10 grand. That's brilliant. That is brilliant. A plus five teaching bonus is exceptionally good. So what, what do we go for? Do we want to do any of these at all? I mean, dishwashing mastery, it's only a thousand. And also that there, increased food production by 100%. Does that mean that we buy less? So we spend less on our ingredients? I do not know. I think maybe, maybe right, right now, I'm, I'm sort of dithering. I'm good at that. Let's save our money 
and let's try and get this whole area with flooring on because that is kind of letting us down a bit isn't it it's surely not having a good effect on the students because they're getting all sort of grubby and smelly and stuff so 4308 how much would it cost 3600 go for it just 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 get it done just get that done builder folks go in here that is your job now go and put carpet all the way through here and just make it all lovely and nice because still they're trudging around on grass and shrubs and grot and it's all not very nice so if somebody if the builders where are they there they are we haven't got many builders over there's only three of you guys anyway <laughs> <laughs> due to staff cuts last time out but you know what there you go oh you're doing a grand job and they're doing stuff quicker because they do have power tools which is useful when laying carpets because <laughs> often often i use a circular saw when laying a carpet and it makes it so much quicker but yeah they're doing a good job look working their way up now a, a power tool on removing the bushes and things yeah i'm all for that probably cut it down with some sort of great big jigsaw -y thing or a chainsaw or whatever but um but yeah maybe not just on fitting regular carpet i don't know <laughs> i don't know ah you're also doing some cleaning this is lovely oh and look at it it's going it's good they're getting it done slowly but surely these guys are working it through and that soon will be entirely carpeted which is brilliant also i like the fact the students are all hanging out in the nice common area that's good um i wouldn't mind getting that bit with carpet on and that little tiny bit there, because that's just very silly with that not having any carpet anymore. Oh, hang on, the stove's almost broken. We'll repair that whilst we're here. Have they repaired the naughty couch? Yes, naughty couch. <laughs> the naughty sofa has also been repaired. They didn't quite finish that in time, but I think we'll get there. We'll get that done next time. And we're going to go to the end of day five. So we're going to start day six. I should possibly check how the students are doing. I should possibly check how well they're doing. Uh, but first, can I have a big pile of money? Anytime you like. Big pile of money. Well, a, a moderate, a, a mediocre pile of money then. That'll do. Uh, teal carpet just there. 280. Teal carpet there. 200. Beautiful. So that will be all that. Look, it's all carpeted. It's all carpeted. And then we want to go to floors and we want to get ourselves the wood. Oh, no, it's not that one, is it? What's the wooden floor in there? Just wooden floor. Just boringly named wooden floor. I want to put that there so it covers the edge of this a little food delivery thing. Uh, sort of whatever they're called. What are they? Food counters. So it can cover the edge of that, which means that the students aren't walking on dirt there either. So the students' hygiene should be pretty good. Oh, look at that. It's a proper thing. It's a proper common area now. Hurrah, it's all good. We've got cleaner cleaning up. It's very good. Hopefully they're going to clean. Look at that. They are cleaning up very quick indeed. And obviously these guys will get better. When we actually get more money and we research all their exciting fancy things for the cleaners, they'll move twice as fast and clean twice as fast, which is brilliant. I'm looking forward to that a great deal. So just having a little nosy at how the children are doing. The freshmen seem to be doing okay, struggling a bit in history and art. But do you know what? So did I. All the best people struggled in history and art. In fact, I didn't do history to a graded level because we had a choice. We could do geography or history and I chose geography. So I didn't really do history ever. So but art, I was awful. <laughs> it was terrible. Uh, the sophomores are sort of struggling across the board pretty much down here in your basics as well. And, you know, your language, your math and your science. They are struggling. Of course, course it is only day six there is day seven eight and nine as well so you could sort of extrapolate from that the fact they've got to 60 something on these number of days at the by the end of day six then they might be near the top by the end of day nine uh, the juniors are looking very good indeed we have a good year of juniors in which is very exciting and the seniors are looking pretty good as well the history and the art again lagging a little bit now maybe maybe now is the time that we start investing in teachers maybe we get rid of our teachers i think what we'll do is we'll keep the current lo load of teachers we'll keep the current lot of teachers for this year because we might as well they're not you know they changing them now isn't going to make the massivest difference and massivest probably isn't a word i've just made up a word everybody hooray it isn't going to make the biggest of difference because i've only got uh day seven eight and nine they've only got sort of a third of the year left so that we won't change the teachers now what we will do is when we get paid at the end of the year, when we get all our money chucked at us, we shall then swap our teaching staff around. But for this year, we shall be content with having some good teachers and some substandard ones. But yeah, it's fine. We'll cope with that. Now, what I would like to do is when this rolls around, so we should have, what, about four grand by the time we get paid? Yeah, maybe. 
just around 4,000 of your monies. So, da-da, let's get the flooring in the faculty lounge, because that's just silly as well, isn't it? So let's put time back to normal for a second. What flooring have they got? They've got brown in the stuff. Let's, let's give these guys a carpet. So go to carpet, and you can have... You can have uh, violet, <laughs> because that will look sort of glaring and jarring and terrible. Now, how have I done that? Yeah, the brown is in there. So, yeah, the violet can go just there. Lovely. Oh, no, the toilet cubicle is broken. Quickly, repair the toilet cubicle. And I would not mind uh, putting in toilet, toilet, toilet. Oh, they're already, they're already sort of there. Um, putting another toilet cubicle in. 400 up front, and then obviously we pay the water bill as well. Now... How much is it to get those cheaper things? Outlets to oh nine grand. We need to get that first before we then get water rationing and electricity rationing. Oh dear. Is there anything we can get now that will help us? That will help us, you know, just do a little bit of sort of performance. We could get the dumpster. Oh, oh, right. We can't right now. <laughs> we can't get the dumpster of technology right now. You know, the, the advanced dumpster science of it's a big metal thing that you put rubbish in. But it's going to cost us three grand to do that. Larger schools need more garbage disposal. Okay. Um, dishwashing mastery for a thousand. Or do we get this calisthenics thing? I think let's just get that done. We'll just do that. It's fine. We need to do this thing anyway at some point. So we'll get that out of the way. Um, can someone come repair the toilet cubicle, please? And put the new one in. That would be great. Anytime you like. Four students absent due to sickness. That's probably fine. That's not so bad. Out of 128, four is okay. Um, knowledge bank. What was that? What What did I just do? <laughs> oh, curse your brain. Oh, there. Oh, it's, it's the library in the computer room. They have been unlocked. Okay, but also calisthenics means that we can now have an area of special rooms because we can start planning ahead maybe for our libraries and you know computer rooms and science rooms and all that kind of stuff. So where should we put those? I think it's time we break out the blueprinting tool, everybody. So how about uh, if we get walls, 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 walls. So we'll have that can go along there for a bit. So how long are they? How, how big are these rooms? Because they're quite good sized rooms. So one, two, three, four, five. Hang on, how big is the actual room? One, two, three, four, five, six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So if we did a bit up there and across to there, we can break that up into whatever rooms we sort of like. And then that can come along here. And that could be, say, a corridor. Because we love the corridors. We love the corridors in the Geek Cupboard Academies. It's one of their things. It's a signature thing. So that corridor will go along there. And that could probably still... That could be... Yeah, that's kind of the mirror of that, isn't it? That's kind of the other side of that, but that's fine. So we've got a common area there. And then if we go to wall outline, so we've got another bit there. And again, that's going to be corridor and another room there. Now, do we want to fit more classrooms in here? How are we going to do this? How big are they? One, two, three, four, five. If we did that, one, two, three, four, five, and a line up, that would be another classroom. But then are we going to need more teachers? We possibly are, but that's okay. That's not so bad. So we'll draw another classroom in. So one, two, three, four, five. So it's going to be sort of to there. So that's going to be another classroom. Why don't we move that out to there and just make uh, make that bit, that room there, whatever that room's going to be, just make that bit bigger. Like that. So it can be a room there and a room there. And then we could have rooms on this side as well. So we could go for wall outline and have another... Is six a good sort of size for room? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that seems like a good size for a room. One, two, three, four, five, six. So sort of there. So we can have another block of rooms just there and split them up how we like. We could have just a couple of fields or whatever. And then, yeah, we need playing fields as well because that's what we're going to go for with this calisthenics thing. We need to get a playing field. Now that would probably go quite well outside, I would have thought. You know, playing field, outdoors. <laughs> it sort of makes sense. So how about we have an outdoor area with lots and lots of grass, which will cost quite a bit of money to do, but we could split it up into many different playing fields. We could have a lot of different ones all out in one area. So just have a great big outdoors bit with, I don't know, say four, five, six. I don't know how many we need. Maybe four to start with. So we could have the outdoor bit over here. I'm kind of thinking that I did this in the previous run. <laughs> did I do this before? So if we go to there. So if we say, okay, hang on, have, have some more rooms. 
So let's have three, four, five, six, and then up. So that makes another thing of five. So that's another sort of classroom size thing. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, like that. So that'll do. And then how about that can be the end of that corridor, like there. And then this here could be a field. This could be a nice fielded area. Um, and let's use a different thing. Let's use an object outline to sort of indicate that. So we'll do that. And we'll do that, and we'll do that, and we'll do that. So that could be a field with a fence, which is fine. And I don't mind it sticking out to the road, not really that bothered. So then, would we be able to zone things out? So let's say if we had another classroom. So it could be six by six, maybe even six by seven. Can we have a six by seven there? That's a six by six. Do you know what? That's probably fine. Six by seven, six by six, six by seven, maybe. Six by six. Can we fit anything else in? Not really. They're going to be... Or we could have one just very long. I don't. What can they do there? The long jump or something. <laughs> we, I'm sure we can make a classroom like that. Surely we can have... Um, hang on, hang on, hang on. Right, pause, pause time for a second. Pause time. <laughs> can we get a field that is that shape? Is that permitted? I think it is. Yes, it is. So 7 by 5 is the actual recommended size for a field. Suggested size, 7 by 5. The only thing is, our class sizes are relatively small. So if there's 16 students, how many tiles is that? How big is that one? One, two, three, four, five, six by one, two, three, four, five, six, six multiplied by seven. Six multiplied by six is 36. So add another six on, it's 42. So there's 42 spaces there. And if a child takes up one space, that's plenty of room. That is absolutely loads of room. And I like the idea of having this long field here as well. <laughs> just, that's quite a funny thing because they can all line up. And that's what they can do. Maybe they can do archery. Put an archery target down here and then fire at it. Or javelin. That could be the javelin field. Yes, we could go for that. I might put that one at the end because then you can walk through the middle to get to the other ones. But okay, so that sort of makes sense. So right, let's, for the minute, let's remove that zone because that's just going to cause all sorts of trouble because they're going to come all the way out of the doors and go to there and do like PE stuff. So we need to get another bit of corridor. Oh, it's going to be so expensive. <laughs> it's going to be so expensive. Um, and we don't get any money for it. We just have to build a field and we get 400 completion bonus. I mean, technically I did just build a field. I did just put a field in place. I don't know what we need for a field, but there we go. That there, there is a field. I did outline it and it didn't give us that, but never mind. So I think what we need to do is we need to save our cash and have a look. Let's just have a look. Let's go to walls. Brick wall. Right. It's going to cost uh, 2,400 for that. Probably another 2,000. Yeah, so two, about 5,000 then to do that. And then we can put the field in. There will be no fence in there, of course. There'll be no fence. But I do want a fence around the edge eventually. Let's just clear those bits out of the middle for now. So, uh, yeah, we're going to need some more money for that. We're going to need an awful lot more money to put in some fields because we need to put a big corridor. And also, we need to think here again about putting in some uh, more classrooms because there are going to be more students, hopefully, because next year we want to get more students in. Maybe just one classroom of each type again. So if we had three freshmen, three sophomores, three seniors, three juniors kind of thing, that way round, that would work. So that would work with that, wouldn't it? An extra four classrooms would work. So if we could build this, that would be really useful. But it's also really expensive. Do you know what? Let's just push time on for now. And then, yeah, let's zone out these fields again. But but the right way around now. So, yes, yeah, so a floor outline. We'll use floor outline. It's fine. So we do a thing there. They're all standing out in... No, no, this isn't a field anymore. This is not a field. Please leave this area immediately. <laughs> You're all just standing around like idiots in a not field. Ah, right. Okay. Okay. Right. I'm thinking there might be a bug here somewhere. I did. I did remove this zone, didn't I? <laughs> They're all just jumping around <laughs> outside. That's very funny. Okay. Right. Well, did anyone else want to come and jump around outside for no discernible reason? Okay. Good. <laughs> okay. Right. Let's get ourselves. Uh, let's let's go back to blueprint and do some more of these. So uh, yeah, about like that. Um, no, that like that. Six by seven. And six by six, and six by seven, and six by six. Yeah, we got, we get the drill now. And then we can just put a big, th yeah, like that, and like that, and that will be fine. And we'll build a fence around it. And that whole thing has got to be on grass as well. All right, at least need to get rid of the shrubbery out of there. So, um, so yeah, that that's going to take quite a lot of effort just to get down some stuff. But firstly, we will just put a door just here. Um, 
and we'll have a field. Or do we even want a door just there if there's no fence? Maybe we don't. Or maybe we have a very small... Maybe we just have one field for now. Maybe we'll just have one field and the fence going around that one field and a door just there. That might make it slightly more plausible. But okay, right. Um, We can't really do anything right now in Come the Stewards. These ones are doing suspicious, nefarious things at the back of school again. <laughs> what are you lot doing? What are you lot doing? Kissing and a hugging behind the staff cafeteria. The good there's not any windows in there. Right, three students are absent due to sickness. And yeah, I, I suspect we may have stumbled across a bug. <laughs> oh, they just really love this particular patch of land. Yeah. Um, could you maybe not do that anymore? Great. Oh, yep, the students have left without you. <laughs> Sir, why are you tripping out up and down by the road, you weirdo? Oh, no reason. I just love doing it. It says Madrout Stow. Um, okay. Okay, uh, can we build any of this? No, we still don't have enough money. We're going to have to wait to get paid for that, aren't we? But also, we need to get these extra four classrooms in. And that is going to be a bit of a problem, because that is going to be very expensive. So I think we need to save our money to build those. So how much of that can we do? Can we get at least a wall in? Yes, we can. <laughs> we can get one wall in. Oh, good. And we can get a few more wall sections. I think that is going to be about the limit of it. So, yeah, we're planning ahead. We're planning for the future. It's all fine. The builders have got something to do now. It keeps them occupied. Uh, right, let's wait for them to finish building this slightly pointless wall at the moment. But, you know, in the future it'll be good. Right now, a little bit rubbish, but let's wait for them to finish. Okay, they are done. And nobody else has come over here for a PE lesson. Oh, no. Oh, no. I spoke too soon. <laughs> right, okay, everybody. Stand there. Yeah, okay, right. Yeah. So, a, a little baguette. A tiny little delicious baguette has been discovered. And, uh, yes, it's the fact that this is, this is no longer a field, but it thinks it is a field. And if it is a field, actually, give me this, please. Give me my 400 completion bonus and my 10 prestige. Thank you very much. Do you know what? It would be quite good to get that before the end of the year, wouldn't it? Because that is an actual rating thing. Do you know what? Let's just, should we just zone the field? They all come here anyway. Why don't we just go, look, this is a field. Yay. And we can apply. Oh, because, oh, because I didn't apply. Okay, right. Now let's apply for that. And we should get ourselves 400 money, which is neither here nor there, but 10 prestige. Yay. Okay. Expanding horizons. What's that? Oh, right. And that's the expensive stuff. So we need to do Knowledge Bank, which is four grand, I think, and then build a library. And it's all getting expensive, but we have a field in place. <laughs> Fairly rubbishy field, but it's a field nonetheless. Let's put another field out as well. Let's just do two fields. Why the heck not? And do you know what? I think I think that's a good point to leave it there because we're on the verge of the starting day nine. So in the next part, we will see how our school does at the end of the year. And I'm kind of, I'm hopeful they're all looking pretty good. All the numbers are looking pretty good. Sophomores, again, they've got another bit of time now. They've got another day. They've got another day to sort of buff those numbers up a little bit. So that should be fine. The freshmen are looking very, very good indeed. Juniors are looking absolutely fantastic. Seniors, yeah, not quite as good, particularly not at the end there. So if history and art still struggling a bit. But I think they'll all be fine. I think we'll get a very, very high pass rate, which is good. That's exactly what we want. The health, the health of the seniors is absolutely awful. In fact, why is everyone's health quite so tragically bad? How likely students will get sick? Dirty schools and low hygiene increase health. I mean, the school isn't that dirty anymore, is it? It's It's got a... Okay, there's a bit of grime across here in the common area. That's fine. But it's not like you're rolling in muck like you were <laughs> once upon a time. I guess it's the end of the day, possibly. So, we shall pause time and we shall leave it there. But yeah, next time... We'll get to the end of the year. They'll do their exams. Hopefully they'll be okay. We shall go up the rankings. We shall get paid some monies. We shall then do our best to get this in. We'll do our best. I think it's more important we get the classrooms in because the more classrooms means that next year we can get even more money from the students, which means we'll earn more money per day and all that kind of stuff. So we'll have to get more teachers and all that sort of shizzle going on, but it's all fine. We know the drill. We know the drill. So yeah, it's just expensive. The building stuff is just expensive. But yes, there we go. There is a sort of loose, <laughs> kind of kind of half-baked plan that I'm sure will work entirely perfectly and won't go wrong at all. Oh, no, sir. So hopefully you are enjoying this. I really hope you are, because I it's a lot of fun playing Academia. If you are enjoying it, then please do leave a like. That would be most splendid. And also, please do subscribe if you are not already, just to keep up to date with how we get on here in Academia School Simulator. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cover and I'll see you next time.
We need loads of it. More resin. More. Oh, scanning. Blip, 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 scanning. Where's the way out? Oh, no. I'm going to run out of oxygen and die. They sound like proper killy, killy death rocks. They do. It's a watermelon. The bloody hell is that supposed to be? So when you fall down a big hole, you tend to die. 